Hey guys, I'm Will from Tested. And I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, the month of building marches ever onward. We are building this week a printer bot. It's a $550 3D printer. We mm -hmm. want to see what a low cost DIY 3D printer looks like in 2014. Uh, this is the third episode. We're putting this out for everyone. This is brought to you by uh, Tested Premium members. Uh, but there's a whole month of building. We're doing three other projects this month. So check it out on Tested.com. And if you're just jumping in on this video, go start at the first video. Yeah, I, I mean, we're, we're literally going through step by step. If you're just joining us right now, we finished step 14 at the end of the day yesterday. We're moving on to step 15 today. Um, these videos are daily, so come back tomorrow. There'll be another one. Uh, and I think it's, let's just jump right into this and see how, how it goes, Norm. You, you have, uh, what we finished in step 14, you're gonna show people how it works, Absolutely. I think, while I collect parts for step 15. Yep. So at this point, uh, if, if you just wanna jump right in, uh, I have in front of me the chassis, so you can see that right here. This is the, the print bed where the, uh, the extruder is gonna print on, and you have a six by six by six print area. It's a little bigger than your cupcake. So we've attached this, I guess you can call this the X axis right here. Uh, these two rails will be for the z-axis, so the extruder will go down. And that's what I have in my hand right now. This is um, the unit where the extruder will mount to. And this motor right here, the stepper motor, is what's going to push that filament through. So if you could see, I'm going to show you that right here. Hey, Norm. Mm -hmm. I think we made a mistake because of these awesome directions. Uh-oh. I think that the switch that we put on in step one with the great big long cord probably needed to be the switch with the very short cord. The switch? The, the oh. end switch. Oh. So I'm gonna grab this and see if I can get that off okay. without a whole bunch of hassle. So the instructions for this were not, have not been great. They've, they've been, uh, they're Some very part. well localized because there's absolutely no English yeah, just, or any language numbers. whatsoever well, on there, them. There's uh, some captions, center teeth for bearing. I'm gonna center um, somebody's teeth for bearing. Oh, so you have to remove the entire I think platform. I have to take the whole build platform off. What does it on the bottom? Um, see this this wire? Oh, and that's zip tied on. Oh no, really? Well, I can take the zip tie off. That's no problem. Okay. All right. I, I mean, this this is the kind of thing that makes me crazy. There's two switches. Both have wires soldered onto them. Mm -hmm. One is a very short wire. One is a very long wire. The pictures in both steps show very long wires on this. Yes. And then you, you get an hour in and realize you've, you've made right, a mistake. So disassembly commence. Yeah. No yeah. disassemble. No disassemble. I have to disassemble. No disassemble. I have to disassemble. Okay. It's the only way to be sure. Oh, the printer bat is so sad. So I'm gonna continue showing off what we've built so far. Hopefully this is all right. Uh, there's a stepper motor here, and that turns uh, this gearing system here. And I'm not sure exactly, oh, I guess this is, there's a spring here that's- So yeah, there's a spring under that, that, that rides on that nut. And mm -hmm. when you can, when you can screw that down, that Right, so this, that you can tighten down. this down. Exactly, and that'll and that give you- will, So if this, this screw gets tightened, the spring, it pushes the spring down, and that actually widens here, the distance um, between this bearing and the teeth here on the motor, and that lets you calibrate for uh, the filament. Um, and then the filament will come down here. We don't have, as yet, the extruder attached, but that will be attached through here. So you can see that hole is where the filament will come through, uh, come through that extruder, and there's a fan here to help regulate temperature. And then this, as we explained last episode, is a new system, which is really neat, that lets you calibrate the build platform. So it will help you, uh, you set it to the height of the extruder, yeah. and it'll let you know how uh, the distance uh, between uh, the extruder, the tip, and the build platform. Because as these 3D printers, the way they work, and I'll grab the extruder from you right now, this fine tip of the extruder needs to be really close to the build platform. A uh, tenth of a um, millimeter. A tenth of a millimeter. And the way with the, the old 3D printers we've built and used, for example, the MakerBot, you'd have to calibrate that by sliding, for example, a business card between, uh, between the extruder and the build platform. So you have to lower it all the way down until you could barely get a business card to fit through, and that's when you know the height is there. And that's how, you, when you see uh, those Tumblr blogs, like the MakerBot fails or the 3D printer fails, a lot of that, uh, is because the, the extruder isn't calibrated for the build platform, and so it's not sticking. So when the, the melted plastic gets pushed out and it slides along the build platform, it doesn't actually stick, and so it lifts up, and once it lifts up in the beginning, then everything turns into one giant oh, mess. Um, and so hopefully this will solve for that with this extruder. 
Um, while zip. you're fixing that, uh, I wonder if there's anything Is I can do. Is this actually zip tied? No. Oh yeah, it is. Yep. Okay. Yep. And the zip tie. It goes Aren't you gonna teach, uh, teach us a way to cut zip yeah, ties? Yeah, but I needed to remember. I forgot to bring the snips. They're in my car. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start assembling maybe uh, the components for step 17. Um, Minus, yeah, or at least just the big idea. ones. I'm almost done here. I mean, I gotta put the other one back on. This, this. I really don't. No, I guess it was zip tie. Okay. Match, match the picture. More zip ties will be needed. Ugh. Okay, zip ties out. All right, so that's easy. I'll take that. Oh, hey, guess what? Oh. Uh, you know what I didn't pay attention to when I was taking it apart? What did you pay attention to? The oh, oh, don't, it's oh, attached. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, that switch is out. Oh, boy. That's good. Where did I put the little switch? Has the yellow cord. The, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back all the way to step one and make sure I put this in with the right orientation. Ooh. This makes me crazy. Okay, so I've got the new screw, the new switch back in here. Um, is that right? No, that's upside down. So easy it goes. To twist. Mm -hmm. That's easy. Yep, it uh, rotates. I'll have to cinch the wire down separately in a minute. It's I hope a, they gave you extra zip ties. There's plenty. There's a million zip ties over there. I don't think we're gonna possibly need all of those. Well then, I'm gonna grab one of these. All right. Oh, and you have to screw those in. I need to reassemble everything I just took apart. I, you know what I need to know that I don't know mm -hmm. is which screws hold on the belt, the belt holder thing. Which screws hold on the this thing, the little thing that you use to hold the belt onto the. Oh, because you took those. I, off. I had to take those off to get the the build platform off. And they are. If and I, I set them back. down, and I don't remember which ones they are. Let me go back. I think they're twenty twos, but they might be they're M three twenty twos, probably maybe M three sixteens. They are M three sixteens. Okay. Okay. Let me do the the zip tie. Did you do the zip tie on the bottom when you did this? Yes. Okay, so it comes up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And then it comes back down. Oh. I'm gonna match your M3 chart. Your... Okay. I bet this was a lot easier when all this other stuff wasn't in the way. Nope, that's not a 16. I bet this uh, there, is a there, it's right here. Okay. It's that one, I think, isn't it? That's seems, not a 12. That's a 10. That's a 10. So okay. it's the one that's longer than that. So this one? Or is it that one? That's the right one, 16, the one you just gave me. The second, the first one. The second one. That one, okay. And this one. Okay. Okay. And then what goes, what holds the, the build platform on? Tens? Uh, tens hold the build platform on. Okay. Did you have this wire through the zip tie here or no? On the uh, bottom. It's uh, whatever the picture said, which... It kind of doesn't show. Oh, shit. Scrolling up. <coughs> Excuse me. It's surprisingly hard to feed this through. All right, let me see what else I can assemble. You see if you can get. I'm gonna give you this chart back. Progress, thank you. Oh. And. Well, while you're doing that, why can't I assemble? I can assemble uh, the step 15 while you're putting stuff back together. Um, yes. Do you All have right. a second driver? I'm gonna grab that, grab this plate here. I have all the screws out. Here's the two. Mm -hmm. um, I think those and are mine. Those are four. two uh, M412 millimeters. M412. Nope. These are not your 12s. Oh, four, M4s are bigger. M4s are fat, yeah. So those, these are the two Here's ones. One. Here's the other one. It was, uh -huh. They were all piled up together. Got it. Um, the washers and the sprocket is, mm -hmm. are there. Four washers. So this is building either the Y or the Z axis. It's unclear exactly which one it is. Okay, and then uh, M2. That was exciting. Real small, real thin M2 tens. Um, those are the ones, they're these guys. They're the ones that hold the switches in place. 
Very cool. You know who, uh... Okay, almost done here. Okay. And there should be two of these tubes, which I will grab. Right here. Perfect. And I believe this, wow, it took almost all the pieces. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we're almost done. We're on, we're on the, the busy part of the home stretch. Excellent, excellent. Um, For reference. So M3 right now, there is this plate. And I gotta attach. I think I would know which one's which by now, but new long, the long switch to that. Okay, you're long switching. Mm-hmm. And it will take. Oh, again, it doesn't tell you. That's nice. Oh, two M tens. I think you took one of my uh, tens. M two tens. Or is this one of my tens? This is one of my tens. Actually, um, make sure you don't get the M410. Oh, you have the M410s already, because you need them for the big part. So what are you uh, what are you putting together there, Norm? Uh, this looks like the the frame for the um, one of your, your the Y axis, -axis or y -axis. This, whichever one it is. We, yeah. we don't know. I'm gonna hand tighten these first. Okay. Okay. The good news is I have the switch that you need back. I've, yeah, I'm using that right now. Um, just make sure you get the orientation on that switch right or else it, it is. Will yep. Yep. Bad yep. Yep. Things, man. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay, so things. Okay, let's make These sure directions that. are terrible. I, we can't. I. I. Reinforce that enough. I am disappointed. Um. I mean, part of this could be ascribed to the fact that we're generally idiots. Um, but we've actually built a handful of 3D printers before, and hmm. I feel pretty confident in our ability to do this if the instructions are relatively clear. I mean, in fairness, it is a difficult... Making instructions for a 3D printer is not an easy thing. It is wow. a complex machine. And you know how in the previous directions, they were you go from top left to bottom right? Yeah. This one looks like it goes from bottom right to top left. I don't think that's true. Because it tells you, I got to do the uh, the set screw first with the, I, with the Allen wrench. With the little tiny one? Yep. I, right. I'm still not entirely sure I believe that. 316, that's not a 16, and that's a 20. I, do you have that small, really small Allen wrench? Um, the tiny one? There's one. I think you have the, I saw it over here. It's right there. Oh, it just went down the hole. Oh, boy. It's in the tray. Um, or That's can, gone forever. Here, use this one. Oh wait, no, I got it. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, okay. All right, so uh, once again, uh, there are two set screws. I'm gonna remove one. Did I drop a screw, which makes sense. No crotch screws. 1.5 millimeter Allen, M3 set screw. It's fine. Okay. You shouldn't have to. Oh, you. Uh, th that two. should have two set screws. So you probably want to take one out. I, that's what I just said. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm taking sorry. one out, and then I'm going to put this one I had a screw on the flat loose. side. Sorry. And I'm going to. Uh, again, we don't know what the height is of this. Um, huh. I, I would I eyeball it. We'll be able to tell when we get the. Um, yeah. I don't know why they want you to Loctite these without getting the the, the screws lined up. Like just as a general piece of advice, Loctiting any of this stuff before you understand how it works is a good way to make sure that it's going to be really, really hard to fix the mistakes you made. Hmm. For example, if we had Loctited hmm. anything on this belt, we would be boned right now. Hmm. What's going on, Norm? Figure out the distance right now. Are you back on 17? I'm still on 16. Still on 16. Yes. Okay, so look at how, see. I need those three, M322s. You need to put the tensioners on. This is why you're going backwards. So the tensioners are the. Uh, you need to put on those. M3. Yeah, put on, put on the, temp, the tensioners are those bearings. You have them. Yep. And they go in with the M322s into those big holes on either side. But there are only two of them. There are two of them. That's okay. Cool. Yes. So I need the m 322 You have them. Which. They're the big fat ones. That's the, oh. 22s. Sorry, it's not them. It's the M412s. It's the big fat ones. Uh, on the put the bearings on the board. Hmm, that doesn't look right because the M412s are going through this these two big holes uh -huh. in the middle. Yeah. 
And the bearings need to go on top of those. These guys. Oh, okay. Right, right. Well, that's, okay. Got it. And there's no washers on those? Where are the washers going? Didn't I get out four washers for I you? Have washers. Oh, that must be for a future step. Um, yeah, no washers in this picture. Did they, this is, this is madness. Yeah, the sub-16 is very obtuse. Um, there are M4 12s, 12 millimeters, yeah, that the, go on the four, and then those no, have... No, no, the, M4 12 millimeters oh, are the there's, big fat there's ones. M2 10 millimeters. M3 22s. Yeah, those are what holds these big long... Okay, so those are, are those? the longest ones, your yeah, 22. But, but where are your... Um, and I have these no, two you have things. the spacers already, okay. Mm -hmm. So that so is a 22. And I only have two of the spacers. Yep, that's right. I don't understand how that whole thing works. You, it looks like you're floating. Uh-huh, on, just on the oh, right okay. side. Okay, do you have that piece of black, the black stuff here? Okay, so here's what's happening. Oh, I see. This is going, side. the black spacer goes on one side. Mm -hmm. And uh, so mm -hmm. orient the, yeah, that's right. So that goes on the bottom edge, according to you right now, and those those nylon white spacers go on the top edge, according far away from you now. Because look at where the switch is in yes. that picture. Yes. This is so this is insane. This is really bad. Like it's poorly designed. The, each of these pictures should be a step. What would Lego do? That's the question you should ask yourself when you're ever making these kinds of instructions. Step one: Don't build on the carpet. Okay. My yes. argument is that it's going to be based on the top uh, right-hand picture. Um, I have the black spacer on the bottom. Yep, with the switch on the with left. With the switch on the left. Yeah. And, and is the, the switch oriented? The, and the switch the, is oriented. The leaf is toward the middle of the mm -hmm. that platform. Mm -hmm. OK, that's mm -hmm. good. And then the two uh, white spacers are on the top. On the top. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to thread these All of those 22s. are three twenty twos. There should be four of them. Do you have four? I have three. And that's hey, the fourth one. So that's, a, that's only 20, so this is uh -oh. why we measure. Uh oh. No, no, we have plenty. We're Wait, going. I want to make sure these are actually, other ones are actually 22 also then. Okay. I measured all of them, but unless, did you take some? That's okay. 22. You, you'll know because they won't thread. <laughs> They're not going to reach. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to okay, drop so these lower that four down. In. And I think probably given my past experience with that kind of nylon spacer, you don't want to screw this down. You want to make it tight, but you don't want to make it super duper tight. Because you could uh, squeeze you can, the spacer. You can squeeze those spacers, and then the whole thing will be cattywampus, yep. and you'll have yep. big problems. Now I'll take this from you, and... I'm going to start collecting uh, oh parts for the next bit. Okay. Hey, they all, they all turn. That's good. That's yeah, good. We really should have put a magnet or something down to collect all these two. screws. I think we might have a magnetized mat. We do somewhere. have some magnetized mats, actually, when I, now that I think about it. The one thing that they did that's really nice is this screw guide. I've mentioned it before, but this thing is positively lovely. The um, sheet that tells you. Because you don't have to get out the calipers to measure the screws. Because, like, by sight, it's really hard to tell the difference between a 20 and a 22 millimeter M3 screw unless you can hold them up right next to each other. And even then, sometimes it's a little tricky. So, one of those is 22 and one of those, two of those are 20. Is it this one? Or am I just holding that one further up? Who knows? Okay. So these are M322s that I'm looking tells for. Tells you which is the short straw. Yes. It's, you can just assume it's the one I have. How's it going over there? Um, hmm. Are you doing these uh, spare tire mm, style real spare slow? Spare tire style, but three fit and one doesn't fit. Then you have messed something up. I'm going to oh, undo all of them. Probably a good idea. Should I put a 22 on here instead of a 16? No, nope, those are both the same length. We're missing 122, it looks like, which seems bad. Okay, lifting this up along with the spacers. Uh, so fragile. Do you have extra 22s over there or no? Are you sure you didn't take four? Make sure it's not under, my, under anything I've done over here. Do, do, do. 
You think they have robots assembling these kits in terms of... No. So there's just a dude. There is a dude. I think that or they probably that. get the pieces from China assembled and... Mm -hmm. Oh, pre packaged? Pre packaged, because it came, like the, the bags are labeled on the inventory. It's like this one is the hardware bag and it has all sorts of washers and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. This one is the extruder bag with the aluminum machine parts. And so I'm sure they're sourcing them in a way that they come bagged or that somebody can bag them there. But yeah, I don't think that there's a machine assembling this for people. I wonder what happened to the 22. Lego, it's a machine. Really? I don't think individual people bag the Lego pieces. They just have it dumped out according to weight, right? No. For, for kits? I assume that they have machines yeah. with big giant tubs, mm -hmm. and the bags go down the line, and the, tub, the tubs spit out the pieces, and that's mm -hmm. why they're set up in, those, in, those, in the groups of bags. So we're missing one 22-inch M3. So uh -huh. I'm hoping that you have an extra one over there. Um, I don't see it. Hmm. Hmm. I know the Lego stuff is done by weight, primarily. So that's why you often have like those extras of all the little one by squares. It's, it's because not because they're generous. It's, it's not because they're generous. It's not worth it's their margin of error to calibrate for the... Better the, to have too many than too few. Right, right. Although, have you ever had a, a broken piece in a Lego kit where you had to call them? A broken big piece? I don't know. Or a, just a broken or missing... That looks, something looks really wonky there. Norm. So this is spinning, and that shouldn't be spinning. Can I see? No, spinning is okay, but it's, uh, why is it so high? Those are the 22s and those are spacers. No, 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 no I know. I, something's, not, something's not right on this side. Um, where did I put my driver? Do, do, do. Everything's falling apart. The whole system's going. Do you have the driver? Oh, you have the driver. Yep. Oh, okay. I think your piece rode up over here. Maybe it's supposed to. So yeah, so what happened was you caught your plastic piece on the lip here, and it rode up too high, I think. It, it caught on that ring around the edge of the motor. What are those washers supposed to be used? I think they go in the next step. So sometimes, you, like Lego, you assemble a bunch of pieces. Really? And then... No. Is I'm it? skeptical because I'm looking at the next three steps and nowhere do I see washers. clear indication of washers being required. Uh -oh. I'm pretty sure that for this step we needed to use the washers. Where though? There's literally no oh indication. Okay. Oh wait, is it under the bearings? Yeah, it's under the bearings. Okay, well good, those aren't tight. The big ones aren't tight. Okay, and there so. are two washers under each. Each, under each one? You think so? Yeah. Kind of looks like it yeah, in that, four in that third picture. It's it's this like reverse engineering. What was that Ben Affleck movie? Um, the one where they lock him in a room and he figures out how the next Xbox works. Oh my god! Do you remember what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I do. And it was based on it's not it's based on a Philip K. Dick, Philip K. Dick story, short story. And it was terrible. Well, and it was called. Bleh. I don't think that was actually the name. Bleh is what it was called. Paycheck. Paycheck. I was thinking payback, but that's the Mel Gibson revenge cop. That's the based on the uh, Richard Stark Parker book series. Really? That's based on a Richard Stark Parker book series? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Okay, I think this might might have been upside down. Is it no. right side nope. up and an upside down? Look, look for the uh, look for the. Oh, the hole the goes on the hole. bottom. You're right. It's on the bottom right. Okay, let's try it again. Are these both 22s. I'm going to check while we're out. Yep, they are. Disaster strikes. We were confident we'd be able to get at least past step 20 today. That was the goal. That was the goal. We are still on step 16. We remain. We remain. This is just not, not giving up. It's not lining up exactly right. I don't see what's going on here. This is like a piece of machine Delrin or something like that. It's kind of kind of neat. Okay, I'm going to loosen up the other side, too. I'm starting to get the flop sweats, Norm. Uh-oh. That's not good. It's not what anybody wants. All right, I'm going to... I'm, uh, I've gotten that, pieces for the next step already. Okay. Um, but I don't think we can go further. Oh, you've gotten the screws for I've next step. I've gotten all the screws and stuff. Okay. Um, and there's another belt we need to use. Oh, okay. wow. No, you cannot go further. Because no, this next step is requires, putting all this stuff on. Yeah. 
This, yeah. Um, hold on. Is your orientation on the motor right? No, it is not. So your motor is backwards. Oh, I think that's the, the problem. Because I bet there's a notch cut out. No, it doesn't look like it. There might be more the space on one of the sides than the other. Wire needs to be on the yeah. right side. Always, always got to look at the motor orientation. Oh boy. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's okay. Everything's full. Nothing is boned. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I good? Okay, yep. Two clear spacers in the back, translucent spacers. Big okay. Black spacer in the front. Bottom edge. I'm going to line this yep. up. Yep, that looks good. I don't know how this is supposed to work. Can you see the holes through the top? I can, but it's real. Like, it's real tight. The one I had a problem with was the bottom right one. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be the bottom right or the top left, depending on which top ones you torque in, in first. Well, yeah, but it's like it's like a spare tire. It's like a, a car tire. If you do one, if you mess up one, then you have problems all the way around. Have you ever driven a car with no fourth tire? You mean like a tricycle? But a four oh, like four-wheeled a, car where the third tire fourth was tire was flat. Well, it's gone. No, I think that, that only happened in love bug movies. Have you done that, Norm? No, but I, I, oh. that would be interesting. I, I always like those videos of dudes in rally cars where they tilt the car up on the side mm -hmm. and change change the tire while they're driving. I always find that amusing, but I don't I don't know that you could actually do that in the real world. If only we knew someone who could test that kind of stuff. Maybe they have. All right. How's that? I'm how's not, that? Is that, is that I'm yep. not. Cru yep. Nope. Go in your home. I feel like I'm really going to strip this out with the. No, nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh, got it. Got okay. it. Got yeah. it. All right. All right. That's it. Nope. We got to put the set screw and the. And the yeah, 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 yeah. Is this the whole episode? Are we done? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no. I was going to say. We're getting to step 20. I'm saying um, for this four. I got to cinch the. Well, the switch isn't on very well. Well, I didn't have the. I didn't tighten. I didn't have anything to tighten. This is kind of shoddy craftsmanship, Norm. So what I expect from Made in America. America products, assembled in America by assembled craftsmen. Assembled in America. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm screwing. Earn those YouTube wages. Yeah, all our fat YouTube checks. Ha ha ha. All right. Hold on. You can't. You can't. can't you gotta, I'm gonna give you this. Uh, you need that plus this. For your Where's the big one? Is there not a big one? A big this, are these just thumb screws? I guess those are thumb screws. Okay, so now I put this guy on. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yep, on top of the motor. Yep, and, and I'm going to line up those how gears flush with it's the. It's supposed to be. Yeah, you can tell because look, um, on this, you want the the tensioners, these these bearings here, the ones that I just put my hand in front of, to the, be in line, to be with, in the line gear. with the way the gears are going to be. The nice thing about this sprocket is that it's big enough that it can travel a little bit and you won't have any problems. Now the problem is that I don't know that I can get to. There it is. To tighten the set screw. To tighten the set screw. All right. Okay, what happens next, Norm? Are we putting the next, hot end together? Uh, the next is uh, connecting that with these rods. Um, oh, on the mm -hmm. on the on the print head. Okay, mm -hmm. I think that's probably pretty good. Okay. Probably would have Loctited that one if I had the opportunity. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna look. Is this that up an opportunity that bit. we can do later on? I don't know. Why not? Anything you can put apart, you can take it. To put together, you can take apart. That's them's the except for maybe an iPad. Okay. On to step 17. Okay. I feel like yes. I have a real sense of accomplishment. Because yes. 16, 16 deceptively complex. Wow. wow. And also required disassembling and going back to yeah, step Yeah, going one. back to step one. And right. luckily, it wasn't all the way back to step I'm one. I'm going to show you guys this. Now, we're, we're still missing that M23, that M322 millimeter screw. We're hold, holding off? No, I don't think we, it's, it's one, it's the tensioner for the axis that we're getting ready to put on. So, that's no, not it. that's not it. That's, that's a, like a 10. Maybe mm -hmm. um, we might. I'm. Sure I have a bag of these kinds of, of small metric screws, so I probably have one. But we might have to cheat and not use one right away. So okay. Um, okay. Can we take one from the old MakerBot behind you? 
rob from the rich to steal from mm -hmm. the poor? Whoa, well, that, that, that thing is pretty old. Peter oh my God. Jay Paul. Whoa. That looks about right, right? <laughs> oh, the nut slot's loose. Oh boy. Measure? Measure? Nope, that one's too short. Oh. Let, me go, let me go fishing. Uh, uh, boy, some of these are rusted. Wow. Um, this thing's four years old now. We built this in 2010, right after we launched the site, as I recall. Let's see about that. That one's going to be too short, too. I don't think there's one in here that's a 22. They didn't use a whole lot of real long ones. Yeah, I think, I think we got nothing on that. I think we got to just push on. So, step 17. We're building the Y-axis. You have the two, uh, the face thing. Yes. That Those things have faces in them. They, they do have faces. Yep. If you get a close-up right there, yep. that's the mouth. These are the eyes. Yep. It looks like a frog. I have six M3 8 millimeters, one M3 10 millimeter screw, and then I have one 22 millimeter M3 and one 20 millimeter M3. See, at some point, my guess is that we put a 22 in when we meant to put a 20 in. Oh, but, boy. oh well. Um, we have the tensioner. You have the tensioner? Did you grab it? Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. And uh, we have the belt. I don't know where the belt is. Uh, the belt's right there. Okay, there's the belt. Okay. And we have two zip ties. That's no problem. Okay. You have the pieces of Delrin. Yep. Okay, so we're ready to assemble all this. Moving on to step 18. <laughs> step 18. It's already assembled. That's amazing. That's the, eight, the, Make the, it, the step picture for 18 is it Make goes it look from like this. From that, which is that, that's all the pieces we're talking about. Sweet. Make that merciful look genius. like that. Bam. And that it this piece should of just work, right? Okay. okay. Okay, no problem. So are those are those aluminum blocks, are they the same? Are they mirror, like mirror images of each other? I'm figuring that yeah, they are exactly the same. And they're symmetrical too? So it doesn't so orientation doesn't matter? Yes. Okay. So then and one side has this divot. Uh, I'm assuming that I think they, they, they both do not have, show. I'll skip forward and see if I see the divot. I think the divot might go into the motor. Oh, divots, I see it. Divots on the outside. Okay, Step 20 so put, tells you divots on the outside. Great. That okay. Was good That's information. Good. Okay, so I would start by screwing that plate with the motor into those two things. And then before you tighten that down all the way, we'll run the two rods through. Okay. Again, I hope these are the right rods. I'm pretty sure they are at this point. Yep. Because the other that ones fit. require yeah. Mainly, disassembling the entire build platform. Well, I've already done that once today. Why not again? Okay, so uh, I, this requires, oh boy, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, that will go here, and that will go here. Only three of these screws um, set these blocks on. You're going to... So I need yeah, six of those. Well, there's four, there's three on one side and three on the other. So six of those. <coughs> They're right and, here. And, okay. Here's your driver. They're real, that's real, okay, I guess they're getting short. Yeah, uh, that's that's no problem. Okay, and it's really easy to do a diagonal here. <coughs> oh, and then that's going to screw in up here, and that's going to drive the whole, the hot end. This is an interesting design. It's a real cool job designing 3D printers. Yep. Because you're looking at, you're trying to minimize your custom parts. Hey, you guys have a new home server in, in Norm Manor, right? We have a new home server, just set up last night, <coughs> uh, not uh, functioning quite yet. Uh, I helped, it's an Ubuntu home server. I helped uh, Wes test it out last night, like, um, and you, you were capable of streaming stuff outside of the house, even. Um, it was very fancy. Yes. Seems like you're using Plex for most of that stuff. Plex. Yeah. Plex. Uh, okay, so this is tricky, because... One of these screws will um, yeah. kind of get in the way of this wire, of the switch wire. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to screw that in and move it out of the way. Yeah. And not. Okay. All right. I'm okay. So now put your rods into the. Into, oh, you have two more screws. Two more. And I'll, I'll tighten after I get all these in. I think you probably want to tighten after you put the rods in. Okay. All right, bam. Plex server is highly recommended. Yeah, Plex server is great. Do you pay for the premium Plex stuff? Um, on the app yeah. side, I do pay on the Android app side. So you pay, but I you're don't not pay paying monthly. for the subscription no, no, no. thing. I, okay. I the, ooh, this, 
went through, but it's not very smooth. Okay, so I think you want to do the other one, and then it'll it'll straighten it out. You might have to loosen the one side. Maybe we should have put the bearings through the rods through first. The problem is those aren't exactly aligned, so you want to loosen the screws until they mm -hmm, move freely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do I know this? It's not from the instructions. It's from experience. It's from painful experience. Okay, okay so, see if, so see if they move now. Yep, now much better. Okay, so now um, put the ends on. Oh I would boy. go ahead and put the ends on and then cinch it down. Yeah. Where are the delt runs right here? You have them right there. I okay. think they are they only go... You want the screw holes on the top again. Mm -hmm. Actually, they, and are, they, are, they are oriented in a uh, specific way. It looks like... Yep. Like hold on. That. It looks like... I don't see the hole. Oh, there's on a the hole left on side. the left side. Yep. Yeah, and yep. then there's two then small two, holes yep. on the right side on the inside. Okay. Yep, two small holes there right here, go. which you okay. can see on the right side. Do it. And I'm going to press here. Oh boy. Every episode of this, it's like ah. eight. You're Scott Bakula. What's your favorite Scott Bakula role, Norm? Is it Archer, Captain of the NX01 Enterprise? I suppose so, because I never really Sam watched Quantum, Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap? Is his name Sam? It seems like it's Sam. Sam. Oh boy. Okay. Does that feel like it's on? I think those I are on. I don't feel like you got the kind of... I didn't hear the click. Yeah. This is a good way to get a nasty bruise in the palm of your hand. Exactly. Oh, there oh, goes there one. Go. Yep. Pressure fit. Okay. Cool. You feel like it's in? Okay. Yes. And so, then, oh, that's still not great. So I want to twist these so a little bit. So kind of bit. wiggle those. Seems to need to be lubed up. It shouldn't be with that kind of bearing, I don't think. This is not great at all. Can I see? Hmm. Right? Not great at Once all. Once it gets going, it's okay. I think you're still a little crooked. Yeah, there we go. Ah, gravity. Wiggling. Uh, should we push on to step 18 or call this a day? Three um, steps. This is a terrible performance norm. Wow. Uh, let me take a quick. Oh, we got to put the belt we in. We got to put the belt on also. Put the belt on. in. Oh, boy. But most of the next step is finishing putting the belt in. Okay, okay. I'll go back to step 18. Okay, gears. And this goes just like. Right. Teeth on the gear and the other, the flat end on the bearings. Oh. Teeth on the gear, of course. Yeah. And, uh, hmm, it goes, slots diagonally. Oh. Did you cinch down those blocks yet? You didn't? No, I didn't. Okay, okay you not definitely do that. Right now? Yes. So you think it's, it's the move, travel it's is smooth? That's uh, probably the best. Probably thing as good as it's going to get. Um... I'm sure the people who make this kit are right now screaming at themselves, screaming at their TVs. Well, we can scream at them for not uh, providing better instructions. That is that is also true. I mean, they didn't give us this kit. We are paying customers, just for full disclosure. Okay. All right, and this Titan, and that, ooh, that's a great sound. I, I think you're being facetious there. I'm gonna go back and see where else we use 22 millimeter screws and see if I can figure out where we messed up and where we lost one. Um, All right. Okay, and this, the belt is on. Okay. There's some shrapnel. I don't wanna move the motor much. Um, I think we should right. stop. I think we should call it there. Step 18 completed. 18. Wow. So we Three have 10 more steps. steps to go. I'm not feeling real good about this, Norm. We need to finish basically all of it in the, in next, the, next, episode. In the next episode. Yeah, so we can do first so print. We can do a first print by the end of this on week. On Friday. Um, the, if, if you're just joining, uh, again, this is brought to you by Tested Premium Members. We are building stuff every day mm -hmm. in July, except for most Saturdays and Sundays. 
Um, we have a bunch more projects coming. This is just the first of four. Uh, this one's uh, presented by Tested Premium members, so it's for everyone on YouTube. The others are going to be premium only on Tested.com. You can go to Tested.com slash membership if you want to find out about that stuff. And also, uh, if you have suggestions, if you have questions about uh, 3D printing or this permabrot, uh, post them in the comments on YouTube or on the site. Yeah. And we also want to hear suggestions for what projects you might want to see us build, kits that we can build here at the office or at a shop. That sounds good. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode. I hope it's the exciting conclusion of the Y-axis, maybe putting the hot end on the extruder. Who knows what will happen next? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.